buying smartly. Our problem is not spending money. We spent 40 it million is. on Ozil. We spent about Rich. 35, 40 million on Sanchez. We we Rich, 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 Rich. They bought David Lewis for Rich. 7 million from... They bought David Lewis Rich. from Chelsea for 7 million. million. We, bought Jacka for, we bought Jacka for 35 million. We could have had Candy for 30. We, we, spent, we spent our money poorly, bro. Oh. We spent our money poorly. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what? So what's Papa? Pap- you know what's Papa? Pap- 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 what's his face? Papa, Papa, his face is 10, 10 mil. 17, 10 mil. What, Pepe? No, Papa, uh, Papa, Papa, do this. Oh, the Socrates. Socrates. Socrates, 10 mil from. Yeah, you bought, you, you bought Socrates and you bought that in the week. So you did address, right, you did address the centre back issue. No, you did address no, the no, centre back issue, we, but we, not we, with we good enough players. We, we bought Mustafa, yeah, for 35 million and he flopped. It's not that we didn't. Oh. We spent money, we've just spent poorly. You spent. Are you buying Mustafa? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Here we have part two of Everyone's a Pundit, episode 33. Hope you enjoy. So, all right, so since you lot built a stadium, yeah, everything was meant to be all roses and you was meant That's to kick on. Hey, nothing happened since then. You lot were in the Champions League, you got knocked out of the Champions League, you ain't been back in the Champions League for the longest while. And you're the self-proclaimed like team, best team in London and all the rest of it. It's rubbish, it's nonsense. I mean, some of the, what was it? Deli Ali come out the other day and said, even the Tottenham players don't see Tottenham and Arsenal as a big game. They see Tottenham and Chelsea as a bigger game. You lot have lost, would you agree? You lot have lost your mojo. You've lost your mojo. Yes, all right, if you want to close me on that question, yes, we've lost our mojo, yeah? But what I would say is, <laughs> yeah, it is, if you want to close me on the question, have you lost your mojo? Yes, we've lost it, yeah? But what I would say is, you're joining us because, like, and it's not even that I'm happy with that. I'm just, I'm just the, the confidence that you're, you're talking about. Joining you. I would think that Tottenham are winning things, but you're not. But no, 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 no. But, no, but no one, Tottenham, club. you no, lot have always let, said, we've let, been let a small club. Back. We've let been a small club. Why are, you, why are you lot competing with us if we're so small? Let me tell you Arsenal. Arsenal have gone backwards in the last 10 years. It's, it's since we've gone into the new ground, Ooh. we've gone backwards. Black. We've gone through That's a massive rebuild. <laughs> and we've not won anything. Yeah. And it breaks my heart. It yeah. breaks my heart. But the bottom line is, we've got to rebuild mm. right now. We, we, we held on to players for too long. Yeah. We had a lot of things wrong. And now, where yeah. we are right now, we've just got our tech event. We have to rebuild from Ghent. We have to rebuild. Can I say something as a retired Arsenal fan? As a retired oh. Arsenal fan, yeah? How long are you retired for, Mike? This is my first season in retirement. <laughs> and can I ask, why did you take early retirement, bro? Well, basically, it's been on the cards for a while. So, like Richard said, he, like, doesn't go to as many games as... He doesn't go to as many games, yeah? So, I live in South London, innit, yeah? So, I, I've got a 10-year-old son, and he loves football, innit? He loves going to games, innit? I took him to his first game when he was, like, two, innit? He's 10 now, innit? So, we go to hella... We've been going hella Arsenal games, driving to North London, which cost me about, say, 50... About 30 quid to travel from my house to North London. Then I've yeah, got a factor in eating food. The cost of the print of the ticket prices, which are what are one of the highest in Europe as well, which makes no sense at all in it. I've been on the waiting list for a season ticket for about I don't know, 15, 20, like 15, 20 years. I got off of the season ticket in the last like two months. Can you believe it? Since I've retired, they've got a palace season ticket. <laughs> they called me up and offered me an Arsenal season ticket. Yeah. The team, but that's fan base, though, Mike, isn't it? Isn't that down to fan base? And the, isn't that down to the size of the fan yeah, base? Yeah, because the fans don't want to go no more. Richard just said it himself that he's going to less games, isn't it? Yeah. But I love football so much. Yeah, I had to make a decision. Like, am I going to fall out of love with football for Arsenal's directors, or am I going to keep going? And I would have taken my son to games, in it. So it was a choice. of I'm spending my money. I can't give you lot my money no more to pay your shareholders, in it, and to sell your best players, and just to try and finish fourth in the league. That's dead. Yeah, well, yeah. It's and know what's going to happen at the end of the season, isn't it? Like, we're going to fight for relegation. We're going to get some excitement. Zaha's going to do 100 stepovers in a game. It's lit. I go to Arsenal. The fans don't sing, like, because the game's...
They don't want to buy no players. They're going to sell Aubameyang at the end of the season. They're going to sell Aubameyang. They're going to sell him because we he might as well sell him. We're not going to win anything now, anyway. We've got to win. You need to free. You need to free Aubameyang because he deserves better than what he's getting. I agree. Like. And I the agree. team's got no ambition. No ambition to do anything. Got to be like, they're never. They're never going to. Then like, I don't think Arsenal will ever win the league in my life. No, like, no, no, they'll win it. They'll win it again. We've got to be built. No, the reason why Arteta. The, 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 the reason why the reason why Arteta is Arsenal's manager is because it's his first gig. They don't have to pay him too much, and they can't pay a Mourinho to go there. Oh, and Mourinho, 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 Mourinho will go to the press conference yeah, after the game. He will go to the Mourinho will go to the press conference no, after no. the game. We we had to change. We had to change what, what we were going for. We went can't for a good European manager. Coach. Can't afford a good manager. We we, we went for a top Mourinho. European coach. You know I Emery. It did not work. It his CV, his CV. Okay, let's, let's have some order in there now. <laughs> let's let Richard chat. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is. We we tried. We tried to go the top European coach route. It didn't work for us. Maybe we picked the wrong coach, you know Emery, but it didn't work for us. It's just like when May United May United went through Moyes, they went through Louis Van Gaal, they went through another coach, yeah. and then they said, yeah. you know what? We're gonna go with Solskjaer now. It's a philosophy. And and a lot yeah, of we're still buying players though. A lot yeah, of and you're right still now. buying players, exactly. And also as well as Louis Van Gaal is a top. We're spending manager, money. Yeah? We're spending 65 they... million, 70 million on Pepe. No. We're spending 50 million. It's because exactly. you can pay him over a hundred years. We're paying because you can pay him over a hundred years. Your years. Million. <laughs> your we're spending Richard, money. Richard, Richard, Richard. We're spending money. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal did not want Pepe. They wanted Louis Zaha, but Palace weren't gonna take him. I mean, it, it, it don't, it Man United don't wanted Juan Bissaka, they paid million. the money. We broke our transfer record. You can't say we're not spending money. We're just spending poorly. It's in installments. It's in installments. Based spend, over 10 no, years. But it's not about the money. It's about poor decisions. Over how long? Look, can I say it's something? Over ten, it's can over 10 years. 10 years. years. Liverpool, Liverpool have got to oh. the top of the league. Not by buying the best players. They bought Mane. Yes, he they have. The they spent a goalie they, for, they they bought bought a goalie for 80 million. He wasn't the best. No, at the end, they got they got money for Coutinho, Michael. They got money for Coutinho. They spent the money for Coutinho. That's they true. Breaking transfer records. They bought smartly. They bought Mane, they bought Firmino, they've got Robertson, yeah. they've got players from the youth team, they've got oh, so they, don't, they didn't spend big money. Tottenham didn't spend big We're money. The top of the league. Do you know what I mean? Tottenham bought um Aldeferro, the Fotongan, they bought um, We bought well. We we, we, we they yeah, bought well. We bought we well, just didn't get out of the line. Hey Michael, they Michael, can I say something? How long have we needed a centre back? How long have Arsenal needed a centre back? I think we need a centre back for two years. And we're not buy- we're not buying smartly. Our problem is not spending money. We spent forty it million is. on Ozil. We spent about Richard. 35, 40 million on Sanchez. We we rich, 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 rich. They bought David Lewis for seven million from. They bought David Lewis from Chelsea for seven million. million. We bought Jacka for thir- we bought Jacka for thirty five million. We could have had Candy for thirty. We, we spent we spent our money poorly, bro. Oh. We spent our money. Poorly. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what? So what's Arsenal, pa- you know what's, what's Papa? Papa, Papa? What's his face? Papa, Papa, ten, ten mil. Seven mil. What, Pepe? No, Papa, uh, Papa, Papa, this. Oh, the Socrates. Socrates, ten mil from. Yeah, you from bought you, you bought Socrates and you bought David, David Luiz. So you did address. Backs. You did address the centre back issue. You did address no, no, the centre back issue, we, but we, not we, with we good enough players. We, we bought Mustafi, yeah, for thirty-five million. He flopped. It's not that we didn't. Oh. We spent money. We've just spent poorly. You spent, are you buying the yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, so you're getting that. upset, not because we're okay, not buying that. Richard. Because you sold players Richard, to sorry, buy it. You sold them, like, you sold, like, like Liverpool sold Coutinho, Arsenal are selling their best players. Who did we sell? Who did we sell recently? Or they're selling players. We, didn't, we couldn't even sell Sanchez. We, they gave us, who did you give us for Sanchez? Alexi Sanchez. Um, I'm Mkhitaryan. Um, Mkhitaryan. We ain't sold um, anyone um, good. There's no one left to sell, mate. Is that it? My point is. But hold on, Richard. 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 Rich, Rich. Yeah. Sorry. When you when you bought Mustafi for thirty five million, he had just that was off the back of winning the World Cup, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah. He bought, so and he was a mainstay in that journey. He, he was a top defender yeah. at Inter Milan. We thought we were signing someone. Yeah. He flopped. We thought we were signing Valencia. They bought him from Valencia. Oh, I didn't know that then. No, no, it's Valencia. Yeah, Valencia. Yeah. Valencia. And, 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 and he flopped. We, we've we've had a lot of buyers. And purchases that have not worked. 
And when you look at when you look at our record of players, we buy similar types of players. There's no strategy. And what I can say about yeah. the clubs who have dominated the Premier League in the last year, the last five years, and obviously I'm not including Chelsea in this, but I'm including like Liverpool, Man City, and Tottenham, is when there's been some sort of philosophy about how they bought players. Arsenal, sometimes you yeah. buy a player, you just like. Why have we bought him? But it's like, it's like it's the Cedric one, the right back, the right yeah. back from Southampton. Why did he buy it? It makes no sense. We, we, there's no strategy. And bought him injured and as well, innit? We bought, and then what we did, yeah, we, we said we're going to change our backroom staff. So we've got Raul Sandali, we, we changed all our backroom staff, and then they left. Like, there's no synergy in Arsenal. There's, all right. there's so Richard, but he signed Saliba, that centre back from um, St. Etienne, the Richard, young Just to go back player. to transfers, yeah. So in 2017, in 2017 18, yeah. Arsenal sold, they sold Chamberlain for 34 mil to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. they got money on top for Sanchez. They got 30 mil plus, is it 30 plus Mkhitaryan? We get 30 mil for Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, this is on transfers. No, I didn't, we get him on a, I thought, we, I thought it was just a swap. No, that we you, didn't wait, you didn't wait till the end of the contract. You paid money and you swapped Mkhitaryan. Is it? I'm not sure about that. Well, you paid for him, check it. Phil Walcott, 20 million to Everton, Giroud to Chelsea, Francis Coquelin for 12 million, Senchitz, um, World Checks Jesney went to Juventus for 12 million, Gabriel went to Valencia for 9 million, Kieran Ginch went to West Brom for 6.75 million. And then that's that like a re that's that, like a rebuild if I've ever heard. With that well. money, they with that money, they got Lacazette and Ubamiak. And they bought uh, Maverick Panos for 1.89 million. Can I, can I say something, Michael? Michael, that is buying Lacazette and Aubameyang. Does that make any sort of sense? Like you buy two centre forwards, you're playing around. Yeah, There's yeah. no strategy. This is my point. It makes no sense. Yes, yeah, because the fans were mad in it, and they just needed to do something. This is this is what I'm talking <laughs> about. It's not spending money. That's the problem. It is stupid. Are we spending money? Yeah, Richard, they're not spending money. They're spending to buy players. But, but even then, you've got, you, got Lacazette. You've got Lacazette. He's done half the season, and in January you're going to buy Aubameyang for sixty-eight million. It's like you turn. It's it's. It, there's no transfer strategy at Arsenal, and that's my biggest disappointment. And I understand why you're fed up. I'm fed up. But the bottom line is, I'm in North London, and I can't go south to watch Crystal Palace. I've got to stand. I used to come. To, I used to come, come down come there, to Spurs, man. Bro, I can't do come it. To Spurs, man. Go Tottenham. It's a nice stadium. Hey, Rich, and come, come Tottenham. Better stadium. Get good food. No, no, good thank you. you know what oh, I mean? Thank you. It, it on, buy right. your first Tottenham top as well. I'll help get involved. Yeah, we'll, no, yeah, we'll chip in. No, we'll chip in. Home and awaken. Home and awaken. Mike, look, Mike, you said that you've been a Palace fan for one season. Ain't that the Palace kit from last year, bro? It is. I've got the other one as well. I bought this when so I was mad that, in the shop. So how long have you been a, <laughs> I bought this how been a Palace the, fan for, bro? No, I bought this before they released the other top. I was so frustrated and mad. You know what? I took my kids here. I go and get my coats now. I went to the Crystal Palace club shop and I kitted out my kids as well. Even my daughter that don't even watch football. I bought her a Palace jacket. We got jackets. We got socks. We got everything. Oh, okay. Liam, Liam, can I say something? Yeah. See where Michael please, is please. right now, yeah? Where Michael is right now, that's where you're going to be in a few years, bro. Because uh, you're not <laughs> trying the same direction. You've moved into your new ground. <laughs> Abby Kane yeah. wants to go, I think. I, 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 yeah. I'm not, half of it's a little bit banter, but I genuinely believe that Harry Kane has got to go. And I'm looking at your club now, and the side that should have won a title over the last three or four or five years didn't win anything. Should have won a title? What do you mean we should have won a title? Should we? Should, well, you, you've had arguably one of the best sides over the last four or five years. Take away last season. Yeah, Lee, apparently you have had the second best squad in the league. To be fair. Yeah, but that's oh, the second best squad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Second best squad doesn't no, win no, you a league, though, does it? Uh, no, yeah, no, no. Two no. seconds where we finished. But, but, <laughs> no, you should have won a league. Maybe the, the season where Leicester won it, the season before where Chelsea Why? won it. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I know, I know. There's battle on that. I'm not having that. I just want to finish Richard. the question, Lee. Like, you, you, the, the way I'm you're not having that about the Leicester season. Where, no, that was Arsenal. Think, Arsenal Leicester, where do you think you're going right now? You know, let, 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 let Richard going. talk now. Let Richard talk. Well, Richard, go ahead. Ask you, Liam, is that with, what, with the success on how you've done with Pochettino over the last four or five years, Spurs done nothing mm. with it. You've moved into a new ground, just like Arsenal did. And now that mm -hmm. side's breaking apart. You've already lost the likes of Kyle Walker, Ericsson, 
um, and a few other players mm-hmm. who are good at, in, in that team. And now, yeah. where, where, where are you going to be? Because I see you lot as going backwards. Where do you think you're going to end up? Okay, so to, to respond to that, when, when you say we're going backwards, what, what are you judging it on? Not, not winning any trophies? We ain't won anything anyway. Got being in the Champions League? Uh, if we fell out of the Champions League this season, I, I, I'm pretty confident that we'd get back in it the following season. If what you have to understand is, to compare Tottenham and Arsenal right now, you lot were giants. You lot were invincible. I ain't seen that for a long, a long, long time. During all of that time, from my, my time as a Spurs fan, I felt like you, Mike, as a Palace fan. You know what I mean? Hope for a top four for the little run in, in the FA Cup, getting to Europe. We've improved and we continue to improve, not only in terms of our league finish and the, the players that we're signing and the way we're building and the, the infrastructure of the club. Yeah, we're going in, a, in an upward direction, regardless if this season we were to finish outside of the top four, which position would you rather be in? Tottenham's or Arsenal's? I agree. I would rather be... In no, no, no. I'll answer, answer the question. No, no, question. no. I would what, rather who, be... Which position would you rather be in? Tottenham's or Arsenal's? I would rather right be... Now. It's a close question I'll, again. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not much in it. And I'll, t- and I'll tell you why. Look, we... we where, where, you, where you said about Crystal Palace, where you said you'd like Crystal yeah. Palace, um, that was maybe 2007, 2008, 2009. Since Pochettino oh, no, earlier came... Earlier than that. Uh, 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 earlier than that. Well, maybe we, earlier. We, 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 really, since Pochettino's yeah. come, you lot have had belief, you know, and there, there was a three-year period, and I, I, I don't know... Harry Redknapp, we were in the Champions League with Harry Redknapp. Between 2014 and 2017, there was a three-year period, the club had more points than any other club in the Premier League. So you were good enough to win something and you just didn't win it. And what I'm trying to say is right now, Liverpool have overtaken you, Man City are already ahead of you, and you're further away from winning, champions, uh, winning the Premier League than you, ever, than, than you have been over the last five years. So, in, in, from my view... Yeah, but, but Richard, uh, should, we even be, should we be in those... Listen, uh, the, yes. we, that yes. season where Leicester won the league, that season where Leicester won the league, yeah, we, we, we did very well. But at the same time, everyone pinpoints that Chelsea game where we lost at the bridge. Even if we won that, we were still, I think, six points or seven points behind and they had a game in hand. So, or, yeah, so if we'd have won that, it would have reduced the gap. But they still had a game in hand and were points ahead. So there was no divine <laughs> right of us saying, you lot were... And also, I think we were top once. In fact, I can't even remember if we were top. But we were Christmas. top in the whole season. So why should we have won the league? Let me let me chirp in. Let me chirp in here, boys. Um, that's all well and good looking at that Lee, in terms of saying game in hand and everything like that. But the fact is, is there should there should be no way that Leicester City have won the league in more recent times than Spurs. That that sh- mm. that shouldn't be the yeah. case. And again, that should be the same for Arsenal. Oh, should yeah, be the same yeah, yeah, for Manchester That, I agree. Should, be, that, that should not be the case. So. Going back to the point that Richard is making is you have had the chance to win the league in recent times because Man United didn't win it, City didn't win it, Liverpool didn't win it, Chelsea didn't win it, Arsenal didn't win it. So that means um, Spurs had their chance. They didn't actually take it. You know what I mean? With that, though, I'd like to say I'm pretty certain that Arsenal finished second in that season. They did. They did. Yeah, but right, right at the end. And after, it was, them, after it was Spurs, Arsenal and Leicester. They still that finished was, second. At the end, it was Arsenal and Leicester that was on the way to it. And it's like Arsenal that handed it to, to Leicester, basically. Like, And also, as well, is whilst we can say that about <coughs> Leicester, they did have a, like, an outstanding team. Like, So if you look at where the players have ended up as well, so like Mahrez is at Man City, Kante is yes, at... Kante. Like, sure, we've still got... Um, Vardy's still there, obviously. But I think they just, yeah, they just had... You get that, you was, N- was Ndidi a part of that team? No. Ndidi. Uh, Ndidi replaced uh, Kante. No, Kante. 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 They had a, listen, Leicester, Leicester had a very good team. Leicester were competing. Leicester, they, they were, Leicester are still about. They're not even like they're Leicester, just going away from the wayside. They're still around true. in that. But Leicester, Leicester were also not competing in any other competition um, other than domestically. So when you can play yeah. your same team every single week without injuries, yeah, and they fall in, and they get into a run of games and, it, and, and the confidence is higher than everything else, then you see a difference. Yeah. I mean, look, I, do I think Tottenham are going backwards? No, I don't. Not at all. Do I think Tottenham are going to be in a position like Arsenal years down the line, which after you've built a new stadium, 
you've got investors and everything else. Do I? No, I don't. I, I really so don't. So well as well for and me. I, just because I think how the clubs are run. Yeah, and I think as a fan base, as, well. as a fan base, I think you would agree that in terms of, like you said, how, how money spent in your club, the direction your club is going, I don't think that or, or the promised land that was meant to come after you lot done into a new stadium had <coughs> way off. Liam, can I address? And I don't think that's going to happen. Liam, Liam, can yeah, I address? Just one second, Spurs Richard, fans, just to add to no, the Spurs fans, uh, there's a lot of talk about Enoch out. So it's not just straightforward that your clubs will run. I mean, I, I know a lot of Tottenham fans. I speak to, I speak to I, you. No, I hear that. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of stuff behind the background. And it's just like when Arsenal got rid of David Dean and there was lots of stuff <coughs> on the background. This is how it all started for us. I see a lot yeah, of CGs between you lot moving ground. Why do they want Enoch out? Why do they want Enoch out? They, people want Daniel Levy out because they want money to be spent at the club. And I think that's what it boils down to. If you are some of the most hardcore to Levy, anti-Levy, um, you know, Levy protesters, they are the ones that want Daniel Levy's tight. He's not spending money. He needs to spend and spend on players. Yeah. I, I, listen, I'd love us to go out and spend millions of pounds on players. But at the same time, that's why I say the club as a business in terms of infrastructure has been run well. And even those hardcore Levy out brigade, they'll even say, well, you know what? Down to Levy, we've got a billion pound stadium. We've got a training ground. We've managed to keep hold of certain players when others were sniffing around. But yeah, they now want so them to spend more money. The Arsenal thing as well, that is like the biggest, that's got to be one of the biggest sporting lies as well, ever. Like, in terms of how they left Highbury and went to the Emirates and how they gassed up the fans in terms of what's going to happen. Not as bad as West Ham. Not as bad as West Ham, bro. No, no, I think Arsenal was worse. worse. I think no, Arsenal Ham. was worse. Where they West talk about, sold nah, their they soul, said bro. Arsenal were leaving to be one of the biggest teams in Europe and to compete for Champions League. Financially. And this and that. And, like, they're not, they don't, they, they, they lied. Daniel Levy, at least there's one thing in Daniel Levy, isn't it? It's like, he's not, all the players don't like run down their contracts and run off, or they sell them to their rivals. Like, I don't think you're going to get Tottenham like selling their players to like to Chelsea or Man United getting calls to and that. Like, Arsenal, Michael, the, the, the sold Van Persie to Man United. No, they sold like, how many players did they sell to Man City? Yeah. How do you do that? How do you do that? But, but Michael, you know, can I say something? Yeah, Arsenal, we did sell up, we did move ground to challenge, but then all, all of a sudden you've got oil money in the Premier League. You've got, you've got, you've got yeah, sheep yeah, coming yeah, yeah. in. Arsenal had, they had, they had, they had a man that came to their team that's richer than Abramovich. Yeah. Let me finish my point. Yeah. Um, we, we we sold our ground or we changed grounds. We moved, we moved, we moved along, and then all, now all of a sudden you've got Russian oil money. You've got sheep oil money. The transfer market's gone through the roof. People are buying players now. And what we've probably budgeted to do, the game's changed right now. You know, and... I I, that? Yeah, I hear you on that. It's, it's, not, it's not an outright excuse. We've made poor transfers. I've told you that a million times. But, but now, the game's changed. You've got oil money. People don't play. I don't think it... I think, but look at you. Like, Arsenal had Usmanov. We couldn't get into the... He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't get himself in the pool. He didn't want it. But when you look at Liverpool, when you look at Liverpool, yeah... That W John Henry Geezer is on the pitch, like clapping the fans after games and that. like where's Arsenal's owner? Like he's not yeah. even about like yeah, but he doesn't even do anything. Doing. Daniel Levy negotiates the goal shit. Man United's owners ain't clapping. Man United's owners aren't clapping. Man United, not clapping. Man United yeah. spend money though. They're Man United though. I, I, they're they're okay. They they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. They're, going anywhere. they're I okay. They're there forever. I don't think the, I don't think the owners clapping. You would think that, but boy. Oh, Man United yeah. are there for real, man. If Solskjaer don't win something in the next few years, they'll sack him. But they're going to buy players, isn't it? They're in the running for Jadon Sancho. They might have to spend 100 million for him. Arsenal are not going to attract anybody like that unless they... Arsenal can afford to, but they're not going to do that. They work, they're banging on about their wage bill. Yeah, may, may, maybe so. Well, look, we're in a bad situation, but my point is, I don't think Tottenham are much different from us. Um, I think... Where Tottenham were, I, I am like you know what we spoke about earlier on about winning titles. It isn't always the main thing; it's about what you can see. And for three or four years, I saw a Tottenham side that was was one of the best. Like it hurt me; it pained every Arsenal fan to look at that, look across um, Seven Sisters Road and see that Tottenham side. And like generally, I look at them often: like bloody Harry Kane, Deli Ali, you know, all these players. And they didn't win anything. And now I'm looking at the Tottenham team, and I don't feel that way anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't. Mm. I, 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 I don't look at you and think, "Oh my God, I we're in a I... rebuild, though." Yeah, but we're in a rebuild, Richard. And, and I think that in the in, in the point, go on, go on, go on. 
no, no, that, that's my point though. I'm just saying, like, right now, oh, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. it's between us. So, um, but then yeah, I think we're, that... we're in a rebuild in the in the position whereby. Oh, Lee, I've lost oh, visual on you. Oh, no, you're back. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So we're in a position where we've had a, we've had a core of players for a long period of time. It hasn't worked in the sense that, I'm not that you know we haven't won anything. Now, in order for us to do that, the board have said, right, Pochettino, you got to go. We're going to get in somebody who we believe is a proven winner in Jose Mourinho. Yeah, we're now going to break the the, the wage structure to pay the most that's ever been paid for a manager. At the same time, we're still increasing our wage bill in, in terms of players. Players like Endon Bedley, Harry Kane, Son, Loris, that are on big money, like big money for Tottenham, that you've never seen before. So it, behind the scenes, we're, we're stepping it up, yeah? So it gets to a point now where everyone's always said, this season was a write-off for Spurs because it started so poorly. What then happened, and we also had to get rid of certain players in the club and sort out contractual situations. So come the next transfer window, if we're not signing right and we start doing Arsenal signings, then the club's a mess. If we start buying players, and I say that with respect, not even with banter, if we start oh, buying from the positions that we, that we don't have, <laughs> it's the truth, you know, it? then, then it's going to get to a point where if we buy right and correctly, we're going to build for the future of Tottenham. And I, I so as well as Liam, though, so as well as what you guys have done is you've hired a manager that is not going to allow that shit to happen on his watch. He's not going to settle for mediocre. He's not going to settle, settle for that. For He's not going to settle. Yeah. That's he why Arsenal hired Arteta. Because he's a yes man, isn't it? He just no, wants a job. No, he just wants no. a job to get himself on the map. And he's hoping that he can Bruno's a dinosaur. He's a else. dinosaur. Ask Man United fans. Maybe, you know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, no, you know what? Be, but, but at yeah, least it's but, a sign of intent, though, isn't it? It's not it is. Intent bigger, in, it's it's bigger it's intent than Arteta. It's bigger intent than Arteta, for real. But, all day but, long. Also, and and, and so, Emery as well. I would agree with that. The, the, intent, the intent that Spurs have shown with signing Jose is there. But yeah. we would have to watch it wait play see, out. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see yeah, what happens. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the intent is there. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to be providing the you money know what? that he needs. If Arsenal was to get Mourinho, yeah, man would wild out, bro. Man tries to tell him no, you're going to go why? buy David we, Lewis we, we for 7 mil. We don't or buy it. Papa for 10 mil. No, man, he'll go to the Richard, press conference Richard, and start crossing. No, Richard, no, no, no. I knew a lot of players. I knew a lot of Arsenal fans, sorry, not players. I knew a lot of Arsenal fans that at the time when Emre was going, they wanted Jose Mourinho in. When he was available, he to himself, right? people, bro, pe a lot true. of Arsenal fans bro, were, were saying, you know, Jose Mourinho would be great. And it's the same with Spurs. A lot of Spurs fans were split on Mourinho because of the Chelsea connection and similarly to what Man United fans say about him being washed up in his tactics and all the rest. Ultimately, at that time, when we got rid of Marie, uh, Pochettino, we couldn't wait till the end of the season. He had to go at that point. So when we've got Mourinho in, who else was available? Who else knows the Prem? Who else is of a commands a level of respect that can walk into any dressing room and say, listen, you, you and you, come out of my team. I need this, this and this. You know what I mean? There's no other man in the game at that time. And Arsenal should have went and got Pochettino. Arsenal should have went and got Pochettino. That's what they should have done. I mean, I would have liked Pochettino more than Mourinho. I'll give, I'll give that. They can't attract Pochettino now, though. He's too big for them. He'll be like, what? No, I come in there to win nothing as game. Like, what's that? He, 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 Pochettino could win stuff. He's just, he was just very unlucky. Not at Arsenal, he can't. He can't win stuff for Arsenal. He can't win stuff for Arsenal. He can't win stuff for Arsenal. Our problem at Arsenal... Not with David Luiz and uh, Papa Rostopoulos as your centre-back. It's, it's no trap. And Kieran, and Kieran Michael, Tierney as your left-back. Michael, Michael, you're pleased And Xhaka in your centre midfield. Michael, you're Mike, let, finish, let Rich finish. <laughs> you know, you know, no, no, every time I speak, he's going... <laughs> <laughs> He's got he so much out there, though, but he out every, every time, you're proving my point because our problem at Arsenal is that we just bought poorly. Every player that I look at over the last time, what, seven or eight years that we bought, I look at so many failed players, and that's been our problem. So, yes, I understand that we've made mistakes, but if we had someone like Pochettino or anyone with a strategy, we could have done we could have done well. But taking but that at Mourinho, I didn't want Mourinho. Mourinho, Rich. I can see Tottenham's first maybe month or two months or three months or so that he's been in, in charge. It doesn't look like he's going to be playing happy sailing. You know, and I look at it. Rich, you know with the Arsenal there. signings, yeah? You know with the Arsenal signings, do you not think that there's something behind it? It's not just about the transfer fee. Oh. Like, the reason why they sign these players as well is because they can pay them a certain amount of money as well. 
it's not just about the transfer fee as well. I, I, I genuinely believe there's always something behind it. Do you really think that they want to get our set up? It's because of what they want to spend. Like you've got Allegri out there. Hold on, Allegri's out there. Just left Juventus. You could have got Max Allegri. Are you telling me? All right, you don't want Mourinho. You don't want Allegri either. You're doing. You're doing you're, we're doing the same thing. Like 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 you know Emery was a flop. Yeah, no one's gonna deny it. It didn't work for us. But like, ECB beforehand looked okay. Won it looked okay. Yeah. It looked okay. Now, but, uh, now, I think, but are you no, not better listen, than okay? But, are you yeah, not better that's than what okay? I was going to go back to Liam's point, yeah? So when yeah. you talk about this, right, yeah, back in the oh, day, like, like yeah, you would have right. been looking at an, a, a, a Max Allegri or something like that. I think it's the sign of the times where, you, where, you've gone and, where they've gone and got Arteta. It's a sign of the times. And even Emery as well. Emery, would Emery get the Liverpool job? Well, you could have got the job before. Well, not now, now, but you would have before. You would have before. Yeah, before. So. Yeah, he was on before. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Right, would Man United hire Emery? Would Man United have hired him? Well, we got we got Oli. Oli Solskjaer. Yeah, but that's an ex player. That's an ex player. <laughs> so, so is Arteta. Arteta is an ex player. Oh, man. But yeah, but Arteta yeah. hadn't even yeah, been a manager though. Arteta though. hadn't even managed. That's Arteta a man that scored in the Champions League oh. final, though, man, oh. against some some guy Solskjaer that they was a manager. The chief from when he's from Everton. It's a man. Arteta was another panic buy. Michael, you got sacked by Arteta. He got sacked at Swansea City and got the Man United job. And you're, and you're saying that's hey, okay? Cardiff, Cardiff, Cardiff. Is that Cardiff? Oh, that Cardiff. 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 Whatever. I don't remember. You know what? This ain't about United, boys. Arteta was a panic player. Arteta was a panic player. No, no. Real talk, Mike. I think Arteta, as a manager, he's fresh. He's going to come in with new ideas. And But <clears> at this precise moment, as, as you said, it's time and time. Arsenal need that. Because, Rich, <clears> I think you're declining. Even though you might be close to us in points or other teams, as a club, you shouldn't be looking at where we are. You should be looking at where you should have been at this point based on what you did in the, in the, in mid, in the mid-2000s. You should be way ahead of where you currently are. Your, your trajectory has been awful. Yes, we, we, in the past... I don't know, hold on, Mike. In, our, in the past five years for us, yeah, we competed Champions League, we competed for the league. Everyone will mock Tottenham about um, not winning trophies. But it all, with all being said, if you're at Arsenal or Tottenham right now, which position would you rather be in moving no, I, forward? I get you, but can I say something? Football cycles. Yeah. And, and, and what I've learned, yeah, that, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we've been watching since 1992, a lot of us, our, our, our era since the Premier League yeah. began, which, which is a beautiful thing. And what I've seen is, obviously, we've seen an era of Man United. You know, we saw an era of Arsenal challenging Man United. And then we've seen Chelsea come. And now we've seen Man City and now Liverpool, yeah? And... What I'm saying is, during that era, when different sides have been at the top, different sides have been not performing. So now Liverpool performing, they didn't perform for ages. Chelsea were looking good two or three years ago with Conte or whatever. Now they're not doing so well now. And it's just a cycle. And so right now, yeah. you look at it and you say, just ask the team, we're not going to get nowhere near Man City or Liverpool in the next two, three years. You, you've got to write it off. We, we haven't got yeah. the infrastructure right now, right now to go near Man City or Liverpool. So what we've got to do, we've got to say, all right, forget who's doing what Liverpool did. That's not true. No, no, That's not true. You've got to let me finish, Mike. Um, you've got to do exactly what Liverpool did. You've got to say, look at it and say, all right, we want to build for two, three years. Let's go and get some of the best youngsters around in the world. Let's go and get some of the people who are going to become good in two or three, four years' time. Because we can't, we're not, we've never bought the world's best players. May and I have bought the world's best. We've never ever gone out and bought the best player in the world. You know, Arsenal true. never done that. Even when we were Wenger, we've never Dennis Burkamp. Dennis Burkamp. We've, we've always, yeah, but he wasn't. He was, he was failing at Inter Milan when we signed him. We, we got Henri when he was failing in Italy in Juventus. We got these players. Juventus, we got yeah. David Platt when he was failing. We got Overmars when he wasn't working. He wasn't doing right. We've never bought the best. So let's not get gassed and say let's try and get the best. Player. We've never done that. We've always bought shrewdly. Yeah, but Richard, the difference is, is David they've been David stadium to, to be able to let me finish. Though. Hey, David Dean. David Dean. Did well for us in the transfer market. When he went, it's on to pop. We've not signed well, and this is this is problem. True. And this is. How this long are you going to talk about David Dean, though? How long are Arsenal fans going to bang on about David Dean? Like it was, like it was two years ago. But it's the truth. He's been gone for ages, mate. No, but what he's saying is, he's, but but what he's saying, Mike, is that since he's gone, they haven't bought well. That's what. But the David issue Dean is. wasn't the scout, though. David Dean wasn't the scout. He, he, he's the he, he used. You know, I've got I've got a mate who's a who's a scout at Arsenal, and um, what he says is they used to put dossiers on Arsene Wenger's desk, and he never used to read them. He's passed them on to someone else. He goes back. At, he goes when Wenger was in charge, he didn't like looking at dossiers of all the of the players that they'd been scouting. He didn't read the reports. 
That's Richard, why, the whole point of us every time Benga sees a player, he goes, I've got to sign him. I could have said, it's in every dossier in Europe, yeah? Or in Africa or South America. He just doesn't read the damn thing. That's why he went. But and Benga's now, not their manager now, though. He's not. So all that happened. shouting about Venga Rao... No, no, like, I, I, wasn't I wasn't even Venga Rao. I wasn't even But my point is... Like, the back, the back, Arsenal's gone to park behind the scenes. You even you look at you, you're frustrated because it went Richard, to park. Arsenal make more money than Liverpool. Palace. You're going to Arsenal, Arsenal make more money than Liverpool every season. It doesn't matter about that. It just matters. Why does it not matter? It. What do you mean what, it doesn't what are we matter? Doing with it? You we said they don't have the infrastructure that, that Liverpool's got. They get they make more money. No, we haven't got the infrastructure to compete with them right now and go and get the best player in the world. We can't go and sign someone better than they can. They don't want to come to us. We that, have to look forward. That, 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 that's not because you're in you can only have so that's many because, you can only have so that's many because of the team. team. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. In in infra infrastructure could could be could be made up of different types of because Man United I'd say we ain't got the infrastructure. But your players no, but, come, but, but your Man United and players still will come. You could still, still be out, yeah. out of the Champions but, League but, and you still but, sign but, all but, but, but I get what Rich is talking about, the infrastructure is more than just it's everything, it's the whole machine. That Liverpool machine from top to bottom is all in tandem. Do you know what I'm saying? And I can see what Rich means. At Arsenal, and it's the same at Man United, all, all, at all levels, you have to be on the same wave. And it doesn't seem, that, it doesn't seem like that at Arsenal at the Everything's moment. Everything's wrong. Because, like, look, if you look, they've signed Andrew Robertson and that. He's, he's fantastic, isn't it? Arsenal it's signed Kieran Trippier. He's there. Yeah. Kieran Trippier. But... No, not Trippier, Tierney. Tierney. Oh, Tierney, that's Tierney. it. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Tierney. Yeah, 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 sorry. Tom bloody Celtic. Injured. Yeah, yeah, no, but, but, yeah, yeah, but you know what? Tierney's a good player. Tierney, Tierney, from what I saw at him at, at, yeah, at Celtic, was a good player. So you can understand why you'd buy him. Like, you, you can understand why a club would buy Robertson. Uh, whether they work out. Exactly. And the Arsenal one's not worked out. Tierney was keeping Robertson out the Scottish team. We signed a, one who might be perceived a better player. He was. And, he was. and, and he, oh, no, yeah, no. he's been injured. This is what I mean about he's our transfer. Rubbish. He's, has he played? How many games he played this season? About yeah, hard to But also, it also depends on the. It, it also depends on the on the the formation that you're setting him up for. Andrew Robertson, when he came into the league, to put him as a wing back, his delivery is top draw, and he's he's got energy for days. So he can get up and down. If you put him in a team where he's got to sit back and defend and be a defensive fullback like Tottenham under Mourinho, yeah. I don't think you're going to see the best of Andrew Robertson. No, I agree. You know, same similarly with Trent Alexander-Arnold. Trent Alexander-Arnold going forward is exceptional. And he's a good defender. But at the same time, you put him in a team... No, he's not a good defender. defender right? Don't have that in. Average defender. Trent's he's an average defender. defender. Come on, oh, come on. He's a Trent's a good defender, bro. Hold on, no, just one second back to Richard, though. Question. Do you, do you, know, that, you, know, you know that Arsenal wanted Zaha over Pepe, right? Yeah, oh, they know. Yeah. The same. They're playing the same national team, innit? We, we, we quibbled over money. I get it. Pepe is Zaha's son. But, but, but you, know, you know the problem with Arsenal? <laughs> this is my problem. See, Liverpool, yeah? They wanted Virgil van Dijk. They knew what they wanted to make their side. Yeah, yeah. And, and they paid the money and, for him. And, and they no, paid for they him. Paid over the odds because they knew... Harry Maguire, Man United, United, same thing. Man United. They knew what they wanted. They paid over the odds to get what they wanted. It doesn't matter. They said, this is what we need. Arsenal, we yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. what we want. So yeah, we they do know that they want they want players that they can pay in installments or if they're really cheap. We, we, there's no commitment. Like I, I get what you're saying. All right, like we don't want to spend money. Cool. But what I'm saying is, even then, know what you're trying to build. There's no strategy in, in our acquisitions, and this is the problem. If we knew we needed a winger that's going to make us challenge, and we believe Zara was the man, why not just pay the extra five million? If Arsenal, had, if Arsenal gave us a transfer budget and told us to sign players, we'd find better players. We'd buy better players than what they play if we could have, if we were allowed to pay them the wages that they wanted. No, no, but it's because we don't believe in what we're doing. Like, like you, you have, you have to have some sort of. Stuff. It's not about believing what you're doing. It's about, it it's about making money. Remember, business is a football overall. It doesn't even, even it, if it's about making a business. Money. Even if it's about making money and you're saying that is, at least have a strategy to what you're doing. You don't but go. Arsenal to... are making money. They're fine. They don't care. No, we're not going to be making the money we're needing when, when we're not in the Champions League. We're losing money. We're they are, though. Money. They're still making, they're still making all right money, mate. They're not making the money they need they're to. They're not anymore. making as much as they were, look but at, they'll still make look loads at that, of money. Look at, that, look at the, 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 the Deloitte League for the top 30 richest clubs and what they made in the, in the previous 12 months. Also, drop way down. Drop way down. We're not you know happy what, how it is. That Deloitte League... Did you not know that? So I was going to say, did you not know that Chelsea lose money every year? I didn't know, you know. 
I didn't know. Yeah, yeah I watched something right. the other day. So they, they, they're not even making... Chelsea are losing money every year, boy. Yeah, but Abramovich is a winner, though, isn't it? He wants to win. No, but, 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 but Abramovich is... Abramovich is there to pump the money in to bail them out. As a club, though, they're not run well. Do you know what I'm saying? They're, they're losing money every year. Yeah, so, but they're fine, though. They're know, that's in, players. that's yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, know that either, yeah. to be honest with you. But but my thing is, with Arsenal, we, 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 we do need to make more money. And our, our, our strategy is being staying in the Champions League and coming top four. That, that's what our minimum <laughs> bench line was. And we've that's got rubbish, it. though, man. That's you, know, you know what? I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying we've cocked it. We've cocked it. And the it's thing is, as well, is like to go Champions League and lose 10 to an aggregate as well. No, it's poor. It was, it was embarrassing. But, but what can you say? That's our club. It's bad. Yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, is no, I've just Rich, written that the Richard debate. Ain't even, Richard ain't even defending his club, funny enough. Either. Yeah. What's on the debate, yeah. league? What's on the Deloitte? Because um, I thought Arsenal was so, still making money. Mate, Tottenham got ahead of us. Man, Man, Man United are third. Uh, City sixth, Liverpool seventh, Tottenham eighth, above Chelsea in ninth, Arsenal yeah. are in eleventh. Yeah. So in yeah. terms of revenue, Arsenal make four hundred. Who's one and two? Uh, Barca and Real Madrid. Yeah. Barca and Real. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at like the West, like the West Ham and Everton are in the top twenty, above the likes of AC Milan. Um, Leicester are up there too. Leicester are twenty second on the yeah. list. So you know. It's interesting to see. It's just for me as a Spurs fan. It's interesting to see my club in something like that, in, in sitting eighth. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, and, it's and, very interesting to see. And, and so the, these are the other things. Why, Rich? Why I think we're moving in an upward in an upward trajectory? Go on, sorry, go on. No, I was, I was just going to say exactly that. This is why Arsenal do have to look at sort of the likes of Tottenham because now there's yeah. if you carry on making more money than us for the next five, ten, fifteen years, who's saying that we're a bigger club anymore? You know, we might have a better history, but who's saying that we're yeah, 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 yeah. Because right now, your ground yeah. is, is you've, got, you've got bigger capacity than us. And if you can't make yeah. more money than us, you buy more than us. You're in the same location than us, as us. So yeah. you, you'll take it. Change the cities as well. well. And you're different ambitions people. as well. They've got different ambitions as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Just to uh, se- uh, sorry to hurt you. Just to segue on to that, I just wanted to ask Mike. And this isn't throwing any shade, so don't come at me with some angry rep- response. <laughs> um, as 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 a city, um, a Palace fan, what what's your expectations when you go? Is is it now just for you to just enjoy your football, or do you think that think so. Palace can, <laughs> can um, basically can think? yeah, basically yeah, because I feel like. That's why I've had a lot of arguments with people about this as well. Like, you guys have taken my palace switch better than anybody I've known, like, to be honest. So anyone that I talk to about this, they'll be like, you can't change teams. This and that. And I'm like, do you know what? The manager gets ta- the manager changes teams. Players can change teams. I can change teams because I'm the only one that actually takes money out of my pocket. The manager gets paid and the player gets paid and they can change teams. So, and most of the people that I speak to, in it, like, so Liam's already said that he goes games. Richard, you said you go, you stopped going to games, but you go games in it. The majority of people that are arguing with me ain't spending no money. They're just yeah. arguing with me about they watch it. They don't even watch football on telly. You know how much times I go to gym and I see Man United fans in the gym. I'm like, bro, your team's on telly. Oh yeah, I'll watch the highlights. Yeah. I'm like, hold on. Well, so you know that ain't me, boy. Man's you gonna argue with me. me about football, and you're not even gonna watch your own team play on the TV, let alone go to a football match. So for me, it's about, I didn't want to fall out of love with football. I didn't want to be like Richard and say, I'm not going games. I enjoy going games. I wasn't going to let the Arsenal board make me fall out of love with football. With it. I love football. That's, I've been playing football, watching football. My son plays football now. So it's about being able to still go games and enjoy it. And then Palace is my most local team to me. I spent more than a grand going to games by myself last season. It cost me a £1,000 to get season tickets for me and my boy. And we could go to every single game. The fans sing. We have a jolly good sing, like, like Liam said. Yeah, it's a good vibe at Sellers, man. I ain't going to lie. It's a, good it's a great it's good vibe, man. It's a great vibe. Yeah. Like, so for Dead me, stadium. Just... Dead stadium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try going to toilet at half time, bro. Oh. Bro, try and get him through the turnstiles. <laughs> man, DL, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a madness. It's a for madness. Oh. It's oh, enjoyable, isn't it? Like, it's like, we have fun. My son loves it. He sings the songs. So it was about just being able to still enjoy my football, which I wouldn't be able to do at Arsenal. Do you know what I really wanted here at Arsenal? I wanted them to be like Newcastle fans. I wanted us to go there and start ripping the chairs out, start dashing them on the pitch and that. That's what I really wanted. 
Yeah. But they ain't got that. They ain't got that. They ain't got that in them. They're just there, still there. Like, mm, yeah. <laughs> it is, it like, is. I agree with you. I, and, you know, Tottenham have got that better than us, you know. We need I'm, to go there and revolt. I'm not like, the lane, but the old white lane, the, the, those fans just to get amongst it. You know what I mean? And Arsenal, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was at, I was at, um, I was at, well, they, they had the last game, but I remember I was at a game that you were at, Liam, and you was in the Tottenham and I was in the Arsenal end. And um, it was a one all draw. Yeah. It was at the Emirates. And um, yeah, yeah. and um, I just remember I was clapping. I went up to cheer. So I can't remember what I was cheering or whatever. And some guy told me to sit down. Like, I just went, yeah. Yeah. I, I got, <laughs> yeah, that's what happens at Arsenal. And I, I looked back and everyone yeah. was sitting down and just clapping when someone said, yeah. and I, yeah. thought, I just thought, this is dead. We're not even winning games anymore. Before, I could tolerate it because Sanchez or someone might... Sanchez was there, yeah. So it was all right. You get some excitement in that. But then it started started getting bad. And then you had... It, 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 the atmosphere, it got toxic. It got really toxic towards the end of the Ben Gurion era. It was, it was just everyone... So I, I get where you... Got. In fact, you know, the funny thing is, I wish I could change clubs. It's just part of my DNA, though. It's part of who I... I feel it's who I am. You know, I feel like... Can I say something on the fans thing there, Sims? I just want to segue into yeah. something there that Rich, Rich has kind of raised. And it's interesting because like, I've been to every away game, every away ground in the Prem, um, majority of like the top kind of sides in football. In, yeah, yeah. In You're definitely like, about it. Football. Yeah. And when I go to Palace, the fans in that corner, I love it. I, I think it's brilliant. The ultras. What they do, yeah. And especially when, they, when Palace travel away. Like, I always, I love watching away fans because the energy is high. And being at the Emirates, ground, yeah. When they went 2-0 up, when they went 2-0 up, and I said, my son was like, oh my God. I said, dead, mate. We're, we're going to draw at least. Don't worry about it. And what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we got the draw. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's bad because when, um, like, I look at football now, how it used to be. And I remember going to Spurs back in the day when it was standing on the shelf, yeah, with my dad and the energy and the way the whole crowd would just be engaged in the atmosphere. Now it's very much becoming, I don't want to say a spectator sport, but it's very kind of corporate. It's a family day out, the energy and the passion. Mm-hmm. For example, I know a 12.30 kickoff on a Saturday for Spurs at home is going to be quiet. But I know a four o'clock on a Sunday, or sorry, a three o'clock is going to be different. And a Monday night football, rowdy. Do you know what I mean? Them little 12.30 early kickoffs is going to be all flat and everything else. And I feel crowds have a significant part to play in the performance of the team. I go to Tottenham games and it's almost like everyone's sitting there quiet, expecting us to do stuff rather than actually rallying up the team. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, that's and I think that's like Arsenal. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's the thing. At Arsenal, that's exactly what's there. At Palace, they're like, you know what? We're going to be, it's all about the atmosphere, the energy that we're going to bring. And if you can transfer that wider across your stands, yeah, I think you could see something big. I think that needs to be absorbed into other aspects of the Premier League. It's, of a club. it's the same. It's the same at Old Trafford as well, man. Exactly what you're saying, yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. The beginning of the games is is quiet, it's flat, and like unless you're unless it's like one of them Champions League. I know we ain't been there for yeah. a year or whatever, <laughs> but those big nights, like the big games. Then uh, when your it's chips walking. are down, then from the off, the fat and and as it, like when we played Liverpool, the crowd was mad from the, from the get go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it ain't yeah, like yeah, that yeah. normally. But like we're saying, that Palace is probably like that 100 percent of the time. Every game, every game. Yeah. It's, You've got to be it's in it. Interesting. It's not going to be the football that entertains you, is it? <laughs> well, it's the same for you guys. Isn't it just that you pay trouble what we pay to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, you everything. know what? We're not that far off, you guys, in the league table. Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. There he is. I, listen, I, 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 just, I sincerely <laughs> hope. I sincerely hope this league is written off. And I Arsenal really won't beat Arsenal won't beat us for ages, mate. What, what do you think should happen this season? What do you think should happen this season? I'm, I'm worried that you know. I, I, I kind of thought that it was, it's getting to a point. We're still in lockdown. We're you know we're entering the month of May. Season's done this month. How are they going to fit in all the rest of the Premier League games, Europa League, Champions League, um, Carly, uh, Carabao Cup and FA Cup? I don't see how. But now for the French League to come out and award PSG the title scares me. Why have they done that? And that other me. leagues haven't necessarily done that. Because, oh, I mean, are the Premier League going to look at it and say, well, hang on a minute. They've done that with PSG. They're 11 points clear. So why don't we now do that for the Liverpool? 
I'm worried that there's going to be some sort of nonsense like that that's just going to... PSG were going to win their league before it started, so it's a bit of a different scenario anyway. Yeah, yeah, Is anyone getting relegated? They might as well give them next week as, no, as well. No, 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 no one's uh, getting relegated. No, but the two teams below are getting promoted, aren't they? In the, in the um, second division. Oh, so I need to check that out. I'm not sure season. about that. I need, I need, I'd like to have a look at that one, but because, I, you know, look, I personally feel they can only but avoid the season. How How is the French league cancelled, but certain French teams are still in the Champions League, right? Yeah, PSG. So if, 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 if they cancel the French league, but the Champions League still runs, so you're telling me PSG are just training for their Champions League games. So they've got two weeks, three weeks to just prepare to play one team. How's that going to work? It's all right. They still won't win it anyway. And they're talking about they'd have to play it. They wouldn't be able to play any home games. They'd have to play it outside of France. Mad. Mad. How? I I think the Premier League is going to get cancelled. And you hope it is. (laughs) <laughs> no, I think it will. no, no, I, I, I don't, I don't see how they can. I think with with the front, with the French league, like what you said, Mike, PSG were winning that league before anyway. PSG are basically the poster team for League One, the Liga, or however yeah, you yeah. say that. That that's them. Yeah. But the Premier League is a different beast. I don't see how they can just give Liverpool the title when Liverpool have not won the title. Do you know what I'm saying? Great. I, at least oh, totally. you're winning it every year, so you'd be like, it's nothing to them. You, you, you they won the league right? for 30 years, so <laughs> they have to Mate, get the I, required I, points. Can I say something, right? I was saying this to Nathan the other day. Can you, like, you lot can probably imagine, no, I don't know about Palace, but you were Arsenal fan once, so maybe. I can only imagine being a Spurs fan. Battering the league the way Liverpool were. <laughs> singing, we're going to win the league. In the WhatsApp chat, running my gums, and then you get hit by COVID nineteen. <laughs> right be, now, you know that's the I one. I think they deserve it. My chest would be ah. Oh, no, I, I actually feel funny. sorry for Liverpool fans. It I, is I feel bad. sorry for Liverpool fans. I mean, I'll get over feeling sorry for them very quickly, but I do feel sorry for them because, mate, I'd be burning right now. I feel sorry for the players, not the fans. I don't like their fans. I find the players, a man. Bag of rubbish. But you know what it is, is if you give Liverpool the title, then what happens to the Champions League spots? This is what I'm saying, like Man United were the informed team trying to get... <laughs> so, so then what do, you do, what do you do about that? What do you do about... They'd have to freeze it as it turns. What, what is the top four right now? They'd have to freeze the league as it Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Chelsea, Leicester, Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. But if, if they froze it as it stands, it still doesn't make sense for those teams that have played 19 games to those that have played one less. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So I think at the bottom of the table, there's a team, I think it's Aston Villa, they got a game yeah, they played one they game less. Yeah. They, they then jump out the league. So if you were to freeze it now, yeah, that ain't right. What no, about they won't be able to, they won't be able to relegate point. anyone. Average points, I heard, was a thing they were doing. Average points per game. Uh, all, all of that stuff. You know what it is? Man, I just I looked at the league table, I forgot how bad we were, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Wait, where's Palace? Both, mate. The com- Palace both. are coming for you. We were going to finish above you this year. Oh, mate, forget that, man. Come on. <laughs> that is you bad. know what? It came out for Tottenham. Brilliant. Bri- well, and it came there's, nothing brilliant about, there's nothing brilliant about the current situation. In terms of the league being void, mate, we, uh, we had no strikers. We had no Kane, no Sun. Yeah, um, nothing, those things need to be out. considered as Steven, well. With the Stephen Bergwin well. was out. It was. Mate, the injuries we had at that club, oh my goodness, mate. Oh, yeah, but this is what I mean, like, from, from my perspective, we were going well in the Europa, so you could think, you know what, even if we flop in the league, we could nick the Europa and get in Champions League. We were yeah. starting to look good in the league. We were having, Pogba was on the verge of coming back. Then, you know what I mean? We, we were doing well with the FA Cup. And so, yeah. so the momentum just got killed for us. But I'm still like, you know what? Just done the league now and this will just start again. Do you know what I'm saying? Because when are they going to fit it in, though? Where, where can you fit in all these games? Where can you, you fit in all of these games? No, you, they, they would have to then say FA Cups lock off because you can't play U- European games. No way European games would do. So that, that will definitely get lock off. It's just mm. the case of them finishing the season and just finishing domestic games and then that's what it means to, to me that doesn't make sense you don't just finish right. domestic and then all the cup competitions get left yeah. but you but know what Liam, so there's, there's a lot go of go money go involved go in this there's a lot of money and 750 million in TV works, you know it's the yeah. TV money 
for, for the Premier yeah. League. That's really important. Because if, if the league's not finished, clubs ain't getting all their money and they're really struggling right now. So that's a massive factor. And the European thing, UEFA, they need, the, they need money. They're broke. You know what I mean? So they want but, the Champions but, League and UEFA League to go on regardless of what's happening in, in the, the domestic league. That's why they're talking about PSG playing in Europe. So but you've I, got to think about player health. It is the player, player health. Into it, but I was reading about them playing behind locked doors. I don't know what that means, but... You know, yeah, obviously I sent a graphic out. I'm, I'm not sure if there's, um, in terms of, a, 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 I don't know if I sent it to you, Lee, about the amount of players, that, oh, sorry, the, the amount of staff that are required for a Premier League match, like less than a oh. thousand. So from um, players to club staff, to police, to security, to groundsmen, to... Would it, yeah. That'd be a lot less though oh. if there's no fans. Would it be a lot less if there's no fans though? No, no, no. This, this is still this without, without fans. fans. Yeah. You're, you've still got about a thousand or so people that are expected to be there at a, at a ground. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think the, 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 the actual playing staff and coaches were about 40 to 50. Do you know what I'm saying? You then think of the amount of stewards there are, not stewards, um, people that work in behind the scenes in the, in, the, in the infrastructure of the club on a match day. Do you know what I'm saying? You'll still have to police the event, nevertheless, because if it's Tottenham Arsenal, because that game's still to be played, you're telling me there ain't going to be no Arsenal fan or Tottenham fan on the street. It's going to be a madness. It's going to, it's going to be so problematic. I don't think that the Premier League, they, they have to look past the, the financial implications of this and look at the actual safety of people. Yeah? And also the, how, the, the, the safety of players. What, what kind of form or fitness levels are players going to be in? You can't expect them to come in <laughs> then all of a sudden be playing back-to-back -back games behind closed doors. Yeah, so, uh, because that's what they're going to need to do. It's going to need to be back-to-back. -back. You ain't going to be able yeah, to choose Tuesday, Saturday. Man, Tuesday, man I'm playing a, getting out of hundred grand a week, man. They Wait, can do it, man. If, if if we we out, that, even if, if you go on like a man ain't, they're man, they're man ain't, you know, ain't match fit right now. They're not match no. fit. You they might be physically fit, but they're Sunday not match Sunday football, fit. yeah, and it gets to the end of the season. Sometimes you have to play two games on the same day, innit? Two six Roll on, roll on. <laughs> and, man's paying, and you're paying as well. You've got to pay subs in that. Yeah. You're getting paid for it. I, I don't know how... What, is there a deadline or a decision as to when this is going to happen? It hasn't been. But I, they I, I, been. They're else. saying that German football's going to be back though, isn't it? But then they've had a bit of an outbreak again. So they're going to push yeah. it back a week or something. But and Germany's I, saying they're getting back on it. Have you heard that Burnley said that they can only survive until August if there's no more money, if they don't get no more income oh. and money? And Serious. they're really yeah. So, um, I mean, well, Arsenal, can, Arsenal yeah. can buy some centre backs. Oh boy, maybe, maybe find the wrong ones. Find a YouTube player. Tarkowski, you know. Yeah, Tarkowski's hard. We don't know what we're but doing. But you know what? That's, that's really important, though, is that I never knew that. That's man, Burnley is yeah. saying, without. But without any yeah. incoming money, they were saying, because, and I don't know if any of their players were taking a wage cut or whatever, but they were saying they could last until August. So then I, you, I'm thinking they're a Premier League club. So what about League, we, League One? Club? Before we try and wrap up on that, what do you guys think of Mesut Ozil rejecting the pay cut? Yeah, he's entitled. I, I, to. I yeah. think he, he, he does so much charity work as well. Oh yeah, like, you're on the same wave as me then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but even if you want, but hold on, but hold on, even if he doesn't, the man yeah. make, pays nine million pounds in tax a year. Yeah, yeah, well, that's well, a great well, point. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he pays his tax. It's not like he's getting his money and not doing anything. And also, hold on, why ain't no one going at some of these um, CEOs or some of these corporate Boom. banks? Exactly. Or some of these, you know what I mean? Why are you going at footballers? Because they're an easy thing. I ain't heard no one say to, I don't know, uh, I'm going to pick a, a tennis player, Roger Federer. Or some cricket players, some of them are millionaires. Do you know what I mean? Some of the rugby players. For yeah, but team. I think it's more because they don't get paid. They don't get paid weekly, in it. So man's he getting paid weekly right now. Or not no, but they, uh, yeah, but they don't get paid weekly. They get paid monthly. Monthly, then. Well, yeah, but it's a set. It's a set down. amount of money, though, in it. So like, Listen, unlike it's big bread. Right? It's it's big bread. As far as I'm concerned, if you're paying your taxes, yeah, you're doing your own charity work and all the rest. Pick up yourself. If you want to put your hand in your pocket and contribute to various things, you do you. No one, no next man should be out there saying, oh, he's earning more money than me, so he should. Listen. Oh, yeah, man, I, I thought that, that someone needed to shoot down ne um, Gary Neville with Carragher with all their nonsense when they were talking they're, about they're, that. They're, they're, they're so politically correct. They're always they're so, going at They're plums, man. Do you see what Emmanuel Adebayor said? 
Yeah, he said yeah, I ain't yeah, paying yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, he said I'm not drug bar. I'm not yah yah. I'm I'm Emmanuel added by one. I don't. Yeah. I pay money for me. I I don't need to. And you know what? Listen, that's your bread. You've earned. You've developed your career to earn that for those figures. Do your team. Those also, as well as what I thought as well is, it's an Arsenal player as well. So he probably knows they ain't gonna put the money to no good use as well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like fuck <laughs> that. Like you ain't gonna do that. It's just because you man, you man are trying to save money for not winning Champions League. That's what your own motive is like. We know, you know we my know thing that. with Ozil, yeah, is that Cronky's a billionaire anyway. So why are you asking a billionaire to take a pay cut? You're a billionaire. Yeah. You can pay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That, that's my I thing. Agree. Why billionaires asking millionaires to take a pay cut? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm with, I was yeah, with exactly. Ozil all day long. I was like, yeah, man, he's a G. Yeah. Tell him to uh, nap off, mate. Well, gents, I'd like to thank you all for coming on, boy. It's been interesting. It's been good. It's been fun. <laughs> Um, we'll have to have you three on as a trio again, boy, definitely. Um, and we'll chop it up on our next topic. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Make sure you, man, come with your stats, because I have my gig stats. Well, I, I had stats on defenders, yeah? <laughs> you to speak about gigs. Yeah, yeah he, man. It's Leon, isn't it? I told man, isn't it? He, right, he changed. Gigs. That's what I mean. He used some underhand tactics today. <laughs> You're not really talking about defenders. Blind side. Oh, right. <laughs> nah. Now I know he's a Palace fan. I've got something from next time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I've got you right next time as well. Remember, though, I just like enjoying the match, though, innit? I'm just no, there to enjoy the game. Don't, don't, don't try and get, put your get-out-of-jail-free card in. That, listen, Palace, I might come back on in the next top. I know two Palace fans. <laughs> I know Do you know what? Palace Hold fans. on. One thing before I go as well is, so I had loads of Arsenal tops in it. Like, about, I probably had about 50 Arsenal tops. I took the, I tried to take the majority of them with me to Jamaica when I went the last time, innit? With the intention of giving them out to people, innit? Do you, know much, do you know how much man told me they don't want it? No way. <laughs> I ain't surprised, bro. Ain't man surprised. looked at right. me like, no, sir. Listen, listen <laughs> I, was at, I, was in, I was in Marrakesh. I was in Marrakesh back in um, April. And, yeah, last year, last April, this time last year. And um, the amount of Tottenham shirts I saw out there, and yeah. I was wearing my Tottenham shirt, and the amount of people that were shouting, mate, loads, bro, loads. Really? Like, I was all through the market. Yeah, no, it, was, it was the most popular shirt I saw out there. But let's not forget that just before the champ, just before the Champions League final as well. Because <laughs> it was last eight. So, um, yeah, man. Is it because they listen. played? Because Mido played for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? <laughs> no, no. no, but it was it was actually quite. I, I was I was shocked. I was surprised. You know. To be, I've noticed that recently. Anyway, like. I remember in about like, ten years ago, I used to see Arsenal shirts everywhere. I ain't seen, I don't see Arsenal shirts no more, man. Man, I'm scared to put them on the go under their coats. It's top of that. I, I don't see them anymore. What, just before we go, just before we go, what fan base? Do you, is it a Premier League club where you don't know a fan from that club? For example, yeah. it's, man, I, don't, man I don't know. An, in fact, no. Man City. No, I know, I know a couple of Man City fans actually. I know yeah, but they're like, I know, I know Man City ones. fans, but they're like me. Like they changed to Man City, like a couple of black youths and that. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'm a City fan now. I don't support no, I Chelsea don't... no more. Like, I, I know Lester. a couple of old school fans. I, I know, know a couple Lester old fans. school City fans. Leicester? Everton? One Everton. Yeah, I know there's Everton there's fan. There's Bear fans I don't know. I don't know. There's bare people. I don't, I don't know. know no Wolves fans. I don't know no Wolverhampton fans. Uh, a couple of Wolves, man. A couple of Wolves, man, still. Do you know any Newcastle fans? Yeah. Oh, no, I know a black youth that goes to my gym as a Newcastle fan. Passionate. I want to do, I want to do a team with Newcastle fans still to talk about the, the, um, Get the takeoff. Use, man. Get, They'll start wilding out. The so, you lot pass me on the chef. Nah, he's, di I've, he's different time zones than that. So, I'm going to work it out with him. Are you still, a Chelsea but... fan? Have you got any Chelsea? Yeah, a pair of them, man. They're everywhere. Any Chelsea? I don't know that many Chelsea, actually. I don't, I don't know, know that many Chelsea, Chelsea. man, still. The, the, the age group below us, I know bear Chelsea. Like, all my younger nephews and cousins and stuff. They support yeah, Arsenal and change to Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, that's happening a lot, boy. There's a thing. Hey, Rich, like I said, when you're ready... Never. I've got you. Never. We gave, we gave Semper a shirt. We'll give you one, too. Don't you worry, mate. <laughs> you know, you know, you know when I was a kid, yeah? When I was a kid... Behave yourself. Oh, yeah, Behave yeah. Yourself. Leon, Leon, Leon. Leon. That was, that was yeah. bad, you know, but... You know, when I was a kid, so I could easily been a Tottenham fan. They just had no black players. Yeah, do you know what? I, I liked, do you know what? I actually supported Palace first, anyway. It, I moved in the transfer of Ian Wright. 
<laughs> I like that's bright and bright. You remember them? The yeah, so I'm, yeah. I moved from when Arsenal when Arsenal bought in, right? I arrived. Jeff Thomas. Remember Jeff Thomas as well. Jeff Thomas sent a mid. They had bear, they had that. Like, so Arsenal had a lot of black players though as well afterwards as well. Yeah, yeah. Tottenham all, all Tottenham had was Andy Gray. Was it Andy Gray? No, um the guy. I can't remember. Oh, I know his name now. No, there's a great one that does the, the TV yeah. does the T V stuff. Golf Crooks, Jason, Golf Crooks, Golf Crooks. Jason, Chris Hughton, Chrissy Hughton, we had Jason Dazelle. That's Legend. later on, though. I already okay, picked no. one. Les, Fer- Les Ferdinand, Clive Them men are different, Wilson. though, innit? They're a bit different. Yeah, yeah. Them ones, Rule Fox. Fox. They're like, you all right, mate? You know what I mean, mate? Like, the man there with that. Fox, Chris, Chris Armstrong. Chris Armstrong. Chris Armstrong. Bad, Chris Armstrong. Rule Fox is better than Ryan Giggs. Oh, my <laughs> God. Wrap up with that. On that note, yeah? On that note. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's time. I think that's time to wrap up, Shen. I think yeah, that's time no to worries, wrap up. Man. So we got Richard, Beer Culture London, and Mike. Um, we've been chiping, we've been chopping it up. This is a different type of episode of Everyone's a Pundit, but um, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're all in lockdown, so boy, we can't do the face to face stuff. But, um, yeah, man, big up to you guys for coming on. Yeah, big and, up, um, and uh, we'll. We'll sort it out again next time. Nice All right. Thanks for having me. Uh, nice right. one. Big up, Mike. Nice one, Rich. Nice one, lads. Nice Take, care. Pleasure. 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 Take care. Take care. Bye. Later. <clears throat>